Are you tired of Webflow tutorials that are too basic and only scratch the surface? Do you want to learn how to build production grade websites that you can sell to real clients for real money? Well, look no further than Webflow 201, which is my new course that teaches you exactly how to do that. Now, I'm going to lay out some advanced Webflow techniques in this course that I've learned in two years of freelancing that I think everyone should know before they start working on client projects. We'll touch on all sorts of advanced techniques that are not easy to do in Webflow natively. For example, I'll show you how to do these custom span designs, this orange squiggly that I have here. We'll have a totally accessible pop-up form that has focus trapping and that user can keyboard navigate through. We'll have an HTML and CSS only marquee that you can just basically copy and paste some code. So I'll start teaching you how to be confident copying and pasting code from places like the Webflow forums or other snippet libraries that you find online. We'll work on CSS grid here and build out this feature section that features full bleed images. We'll make sure that our CSS grid is responsive down to 320 pixels for all of our iPhone SE users out there. And we'll make sure that it's also working for anybody with a 3000 pixel wide monitor. I'll teach you how to use some custom CSS so that you can make these tabs interactions a breeze. I'll teach you some advanced styling techniques so that you can build more complicated sliders in Webflow. I'll teach you how to build a blog with nested CMS items like these categories here. And we'll finish off with another CTA as a component where we'll reuse our designs from the features section. We'll put out a blog page where the user can dynamically filter by categories here. This is powered by FinSuite's attribute system, or they could even search like that. On the blog detail page itself, we'll take a look at position sticky so that you can see how to build these forms that follow the users as they scroll. And there's going to be a ton more in this course. There's over four hours of technical video content in this course. And I'll even teach you my 32 point pre-launch checklist, which will come as part of the course. We're not going to be using any templates or components or anything. We're going to design everything from scratch so that you understand and have the confidence to build from a blank canvas. We'll also look at how to improve your current workflow using new releases like the Figma to Webflow plugin and version two of client first. I can't wait to share all of this knowledge with you and I will see you in the course.